Hello there fellow humans and welcome to this video and today I want to talk about again the T-125 because Wargaming recently made a video where they said their top 5 uh, best tanks at T-10 and they put this thing at number 2 and put the RS-4 at number 1. I mean, then again, Russian company, Russian bias, that's understandable. But the reason why I'm making this video is quite simply to re-illustrate why this thing actually is the best tank in the game, the best tech tree tank at T-10 in the game. Um, the reason is quite simple, because it's all round good. It had only one singular weakness, and that is, you can shoot through the track wheel. Boo-hoo. Now, why is this tank so amazing, and what makes it better than all the other tanks? This thing is what I would call a all-rounder, it's not a specialist. For example, like the Leopard, who completely gives up any sorts of armor to gain mobility and firepower. This is what a specialist is. It does one thing great, and the other thing not at all, basically. Or like the E3, how it has insane armor, but no turret. Or how the E4 is an all-rounder, but it's all-round bad. So, which is the opposite to the T-125, which is all-round good. The Capola is very small, so you're not going to be able to hit it too much. Um, the silhouette itself is very small. Uh, the hull is curved, so you're going to have a very, very hard time penetrating it, even from the side. It's only 80 millimeters, but, you know, as you can see, it is sort of boat-shaped, so that increases the armor angle. And if you hide the track wheel here, uh, where you can be penned, then you're basically impenetrable at that point in time. If you... Like, basically, all you have to do is wiggle. All you have to do is wiggle back and forth. It's going to be very hard for your enemies to hit you. But, let's not talk around for no reason, which doesn't make a point, because you can look at the statistics yourself. Just look at the statistics yourself. Because the one thing that separates an average player from a good player is one word, and that is awareness. You are aware of where you go, what you play, why you play what you do, where your team is, where your allies, uh, where your enemies are, all the, those sort of things. You know that. And you do it just on your own. You don't have to think too much. It just works on its own. Now, for example, here on this map, I can see Leopard T95, quite fast, grill, probably gonna camp this. Three tanks throws on my team, two on theirs, which is means that our team is more likely to sort of camp in the backwards position. We have a Vickers who has a very good chance of winning against the Leopard. We have a 263 that doesn't know where he's going, so now there is not a lot of confidence there for me. The Leopard is now in the middle, which now tells me simply take a snapshot, because you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, obviously. Now, we already know here, three people are in the middle. <laughs> Here's the RS4, a direct confrontation. Hey look, lower play, easy game. He can't pen me, unless he's very lucky with the Coppola, because the accuracy is not very good. On the other hand, I have a very accurate gun, so I can just pump shots in as much as I want to. And he's basically confined to fighting on, on even terrain against other heavies, while I can be more versatile and also use this tank very effectively against medium tanks. While well, the RS4 is going to quite struggle against mediums, because they're just going to go through it. No. 100 track wheel, also very, very um, easily to pen. Funnily enough, this is the same map as the gameplay that I'm going to show you later, so that's all right. Anyway, double whatever this map's called gameplay, I guess. Now, he's still shooting through my track wheel, as you can see right there. That is the one big weakness of this vehicle. Okay, now I gotta watch out here uh, because the RS4 is going around me. Just use the heat. Don't be scared to use some heat in your life, because you might use it eventually. Okay, now the RS4 is still pushing here forward, We're losing the rest of our team. Uh, the Vickers does sort of have a point, even though he's saying it a bit too rudely. Uh, 3.5k damage, just like that. See, just use the tank properly. Get yourself into a position where you can easily deal damage. And the... Uh, then you should be fine. Okay, we're still losing, sort of. My objective basically here is stay alive. I have the E100. He moved over there, and the eyes for there. The Leopard has died, so he's not a threat. The 57 is a one-shot. This is what I mean with awareness. Always be aware of where are my enemies. Where can I be attacked 
from and where can I attack? That's what you always should think through. Okay, the grill just killed the grill. Which now means we know where he is, we know where the 57 is. That's bad. Because now I'm sort of exposed through all of this up there. And uh, he bounces off me. Hey, I have armor as well, my friend. Also, I have better reload than you, so I can basically, unless you turn... Here's the adrenaline. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, well, Super Conqueror is a very good player, as you can see. That's why he's camping at the back of the map. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's about 4,000 damage in three minutes. That's how you play this tank, and that's how you even play this tank if you have a very bad team. Now I'm going to show you a ace gameplay on the same map. Um, that happened during one of my streams, and it is on the NA server, and if you are on the NA server, be warned, you might be offended, just a bit. So, if you like this video so far, don't forget to like now. Well, there you go, that's 4,000 damage, just like that. For nothing, basically, the rest of the team didn't really do much, but that's alright. And with that hope of disappointment, let's move on to the ace highlight. Enjoy. So, like, you know. That would be fucking stupid as hell, man. So, yeah, let's go. 17 crates. In 17 games or more. I thought. You have adrenaline and crusader before the 52. What the hell? The Mao. That's not English. I thought this is an A. Ah, it's a super conk! Inflexible AF. How do you? F how the fuck do you not have a girlfriend? <laughs> hey! Oh my god! He hit my Coppola. Ah, cock. I hate myself. See you, Danny. Thanks, Johnny. Ah ha ha, he bounced. Free damage. I think I got more subs there, scared of being my man. Ah, <laughs> lol. <laughs> you know what I mean, Reza. <laughs> We gotta find a woman for Reza. Does, does anyone of you happen to know a woman? No, probably not. <laughs> uh, okay, that was mean. That was pretty mean. Okay. Lol. Come on, give me 3k. Alright, Rusty, thanks for joining. See ya. Enemy and he's burning. Enemy and that's exactly why you use not the multi kit and two special damage. consumables. And, uh, <laughs> well. Nice! I blocked 3k damage so far. Watching you to explain no oh okay, yeah true. Um that makes sense. <laughs> uh NA I'm on NA now, yes. NA for that amount of time. It's literally three V five, what the hell? What is this game, yo? Now the two six eight's gonna lose to the M sixty. What the hell? I'm gonna lose to the Super Conqueror. Certainly. Or not. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Squidward! Being good. It's 150. Ah ha ha! He! Oh, fuck. 
fucking shit, man. Fucking weaker, man. <laughs> hey, Saronso, what do you mean, yo? No, what the fuck, I missed. GG. GG. Not, not GG, not GG. Still, still GG. Where did I open that? Oh my god, why is that low roll? Oh my god. What happened? Ah, I suck so bad. God fucking damn it. Uh NA is too easy, man. It's too fucking easy. <laughs> Lamar.